this is the second part in the circular progress indicator series and in the last video we have seen how to create a ring progress indicator like this if you haven't watched this video watch this video uh, watch that video first because we will be working on top of the previous code here so in this video what we are going to create is we are going to create a fill progress indicator like this so as you can see it will fill from the bottom to top and there will be a percentage i mean the current percentage of completion so let's see how we can do that so for that what you have to do is you have to add two other files and one css file so uh, in order to create let us take the uh, clone folder i mean uh, from the github we got this so in this source main java org ui there is a fill progress indicator and fill progress indicator skin these are the two files that we omitted in the first tutorial and now using this on this tutorial so i'm going to paste it here and there will be package issue so uh, no uh, it is in the correct package it's okay the pro we have to add one more css file is fill progress.css so for that we need to find that css file so what i need to do is i'm going to do a dot css search and you can see there is fill progress.css so i'm actually adding that so fill progress.css is okay but the path is wrong I have to give the exact path ring tutorial bar fill progress.css it's just like what we did in the first tutorial and that's fine <coughs> I'm going to the ring tutorial section so what we have used is we have set run pr ring progress indicator in the first section so instead of that we have to use fill progress indicator and here also so fill progress indicator there is no set ring width and let us not use make the uh, uh, indicator method let's remove that what i'm going to do is new worker thread ring progress indicator dot slash so there is a problem there is a mismatch here because we are using ring progress indicator here i am going to replace it with ring progress fill progress indicator fill progress indicator so that's it that's you have to do so what we have done is we have created an instance of fill progress indicator then we created a thread this is the thread where the work is uh, happening and inside that thread i'm calling rpi dot set progress and this progress is incrementing by one in every 100 milliseconds so that's it let us uh, instead instead of ring progress indicator we are using fill progress indicator let us compare the code clean and build then run so as you can see you got the fill progress indicator it is still in run because all of these are using the progress circle indicator java which is using the circular progress dot css where we change the color so if you make change in the circular progress dot css it will affect both fill progress indicator and ring progress indicator so again thanks for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe to this youtube channel for more cool videos like this